I would never thought I would sing ski and accord. <laughs> Uh, I'm really grateful to be back, you know, it, it was very long, like, some was really, like, working out to really focus on the main thing, and, yeah, I was getting going, and with the help of Stop and, the, like, everybody, my teammates, too, like, I'm just grateful to be back, and I'm really keep pushing, I know how we feel, and we got one guy, like, we fighting for, so, like, I'm just taking this moment, like, like, uh, like, uh, to be grateful. Yeah. Oh, very mad. I was like, I shouldn't take it. <laughs> but yeah, like I like I was talking in the uh, Big Twelve media. When Aziz and Jamil will come back, they'll flatten the defense, so I will be more open on a perimeter. And now it's just a matter of chemistry between us and playing together because I also. <laughs> It's funny, I haven't taken a uh, two-point shot today in no free throw. So I have to still figure it out how I can be a present uh, in the pain and uh, put a pressure on the rim with a D. So just a matter of like play, playing together, keep, keep, keep it adding. Uh, for me, I feel like I'm trying to fight for my teammates, like to be open. Like I'm just really like like to see him like keep going because he's a great shooter. So like by him getting like threes like that, it's just gonna make us like way easier. So yeah. I mean, uh, when it happened, uh, I was I was at home and I was really happy. But I know like how we feel to be like on this moment. So like at the same time, I was thinking about Jamil. Like he escaped, so I was telling him like you know, like it's gonna it's gonna come. Just like keep working and we gonna we gonna keep working. Yeah. Did you celebrate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did celebrate. <laughs> I was I was happy. Like really like. Because I know how how much work I w I've been putting in. Like it was very challenging. So by by just seeing my name being free, I feel like I was ready at that moment. And yeah, I was grateful for the stuff. Like the, the great work they did put me in this spot. I think it was very important. Like I, I'm trying to do everything to win, and Timas really told me like that he, he was hurt and he wanted to be the first guy to throw me a lob. So I was doing everything <laughs> I can to get it. So I'm I'm grateful I made it. Yeah, it was very special. Vic, do you feel like you could be even more aggressive defensively now that Aziz is back? Yes, yes. That's what playing big does to you. And now I can pressure the ball more or guard perimeter not being afraid of somebody not, 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 nobody's behind me somebody's like Aziz who is a, one of the biggest probably uh, shot blockers in the whole country so it, it just frees your mind how to guard like you're not afraid to get beat because there is a big fella who's going to support 20 yeah. points off turnovers tonight how do you guys feel like your pressure affected them offensively uh, a lot and uh, Jizzle and John and uh, Day Day set a tone just by pressuring when they wanted to slow the game down they just pressure the ball and uh, like around the half court so they can uh, just play their play and they turned to a couple turnovers we then we got a couple stop bigs around the rim fade a wide open shot and then we just kept rolling out there Aziz coach mentioned the reaction from Jamil Reynolds when he told him the news that you were cleared. Just talk about your relationship with Jamil through this process and hearing how excited he was for you and you're going to do the same for him. Just talk about your relationship with Jamil a little bit. Uh, we get really, really close when when the game starts because like we, we used to go on the sideline really like, you know, talk about like everything and to get to know really each other. And, uh, and 
I know really how it feels, you know, to really like work like the whole time and really not be free to be on the like on the sideline. It's really hard. So like I know really like how it feels. How much did it mean to you to have Wes stand up for you the way that he did and and be so adamant that that you deserve this and, and deserve to be on the floor with your teammates? I mean a lot, a lot, really. I, I really love how much he cared about the game and he know how hard I really put in. So like I really care about like how much he trying to like help me to get to the like to the spot and stopping everybody who really helped me. So I'm just grateful to have him out of there. Vic, do you feel like teams are adding that shot to the scouting report now, the outside shot, or do you feel like you still haven't gotten the amount of pressure you might be expecting throughout the season once that's fully in the scouting report? I hope not because I feel comfortable as of right now. But yeah, uh, speaking of other teams, they definitely will adjust sooner or later. So yeah, and like I said, we just need to keep building, keep figuring it out, keep getting better as a team, as a players, as individuals, and yeah. You guys both had the two lowest, two best defensive ratings on the team tonight in your debut as East. How great does that chemistry feel in terms of the passing off on defense, the ability to kind of know where each other is going to be and be able to kind of rhythmically pass off those defensive sets and protect the rim? Uh, we've been working on that all summer. So, like, I feel like, you know, it just started coming up and uh, we were just going hard at, uh, at each other to push each other to be, like, in a better spot. And I feel like everybody, like, like he know I'm going to be there to help him. Like, I know somebody's going to help me, like, if I over help. So, like, we've just been doing it all, all, all summer. So, I feel like it just started to translate. Aziz, uh, Wes talked so much about the struggles and the, you know, whether it was with mental health or, or just not being able to play the game of basketball um, that you went through. But we haven't gotten to hear that. We haven't gotten to hear that from you yet. Um, what was that like, those days and weeks where you weren't sure whether you were going to be able to step on the basketball court or not? What was that like for you? Uh, it was really hard, you know. Like, obviously, I'm not from here, and I got my family here, and, like, really, uh, like, it's just very hard for me to really, like, uh, you know, how to adapt in this country and uh, and really to fight through everything, the, like, the waivers and everything. So, like, they really helped me to, to find, like, some therapist and everything to help me like to get to the right spot. So I feel like it was really, really hard. So you step on the floor tonight and you get that block and then you get the dunk. At what moment, was it the block or was it the dunk or was it another point? Maybe when you first stepped on the floor, at what point did you kind of settle in and say, all right, this is, you know, it's go time. Uh, I was waiting. I was, I've been ready. I've been ready. I've been working on like this every time on practice and uh, I knew when I was just waiting for the right time to really show what I can do. It's like this is really like uh, this is my job and uh, and uh, I've been working on it all summer so when the time come I know I don't have to overdo something I, I have to work on and I just do me and yeah. What did that, what did that block feel like for you? Uh, really I was really happy to know like I have my teammate you know to block the shot and everything it was really good. During that 30 to 2 run, just what was the atmosphere like wow. in your first impression on EC's fan base while you're in there? I mean, electrical. Somebody, we got a shout out to the DJ who <laughs> started playing music, like I said already. It was electrical and crazy. Thank you guys. Thank you.